All right, folks, so in this video, we are going to upgrade our Acer Nitro 17. And we need one more light going. It's a little dark in here. All right, hopefully that helps, folks. Maybe even... Does that affect you guys? Okay. So, what do we need for this upgrade? Well, we're going to need an additional drive, right? This is an MB, N, NVMe M.2 Gen 3, Gen 4, whatever floats your boat. You will need, uh, we'll figure out which screwdriver, but either an electronic screwdriver or maybe a uh, number zero Phillips guitar pick. Uh, that's going to be needed to wedge this open. Now, if you didn't do it already, make sure your laptop's off, all right? So, I'm sure there's other videos out there. Um, some of them, you know, no audio. Some of them by people that speak other languages, whatever. You're getting, you're getting an American doing this one, all right? So make sure you like it. <clears throat> Actually, some of you might not like Americans. But uh, whatever floats your boat out there. So let's just make sure when we open this uh, that it's not, it's not actually on. Okay. And this is Acer recertified. I forgot about that part. So I bought this i7-13700H with a... RTX 4060. Uh, this thing is freaking ginormous. I kind of wish I would have went with the 15.6 or 16 and did the RTX 4070. Uh, it was like 1100. But it might have been an i5 1300H. So. You know, this power processor is definitely better than the 12th gen ones. So there's there's the advantage to that. Alright, so if you're wondering why is this guy not dressed a little better for the show. <laughs> hey YouTube, what do you expect? Um, no, nah, I'm going to go work out here shortly. We got a fitness channel. We got to keep those people happy. So, there'll be two versions of this video. Um, one will be landscape, one will be portrait. You can see different angles of the video. And, of course, that's something I need to pay a little bit of attention to. Um, one of the cameras... I don't always do the best job of angling. Oops. All right. So, how many screws are we taking out of this? Three, six, eight so far. I think there's one here. Um. So yeah, number zero seems to work pretty good. You know. Sometimes you end up, uh, multiple times you do this, you will uh, screw up your screws, for lack of better uh, English. Um, and if that happens, then you might end up having to go with uh, even smaller Phillips, maybe even a flathead. Uh, hopefully you don't have to drill out the screw. And of course, you know, folks, uh, you get what you pay for buying cheap ass tools like this one. Um, you know, it's supposed to be magnetic, but it, I think it does more damage to the screws than it should. Um, so we are got to be getting close. Now, level difficulty on this, folks, you know. 
I'm not going to say this is beginner stuff because beginner could be a freaking, you know, five-year-old kid. Um, there's a good chance if a five-year-old kid's doing this, he's going to, he's going to break something. You can, um, completely screw up your laptop doing this, so be careful. Be careful, folks. All right. Now, uh, it's probably not the first time this has been opened, but, uh, it probably won't be the last. Now, I always try and... I got my guitar pick here. We're trying to find a, a spot in the casing. Um, if we're even looking in the right spot. So some places are easier than others. Uh, may I may need a thinner guitar pick. Um, I may have found a spot here. Sometimes this is easier than other times doing it. There we go. So, what is over here? Um, if I was to flip this over, this would be on the left-hand side. So, left-hand bottom, there was a gap there that definitely easier to get in and out of. So, there we go. It's off. All right. Uh, these things are super flimsy, so. Now, uh, here is our drive, it would appear. Here is where we want to put our additional drive. And guess what? They didn't give you, they didn't provide any screws. Um, or did they? Let's see here. If we're lucky, there's a screw on top. Yep, they did provide it. Okay. So, uh... I don't, I don't have a SATA on me to see if a SATA drive helps, but we are um, basically upgrading from one terabyte to one plus two with this. So we now have, we'll have three terabytes in this computer, which is going to be awesome. Um, and be you know taking this when i travel and it's nice to have you know more games music uh videos on here so since we've taken this apart you can see here's the battery okay this should be uh for wi-fi there is like i said the original gen 4 drive um now you could have did uh what is it restore and ended up taking oh, I'm not sure we got the best angle from here. Um battery original drive. This is the new drive we put in obviously. Wi-Fi. Um all right, so as I was saying, we could have did like a restore of this drive or whatever it's called, basically back the whole uh, drive up and then put a new drive in and boom you know basically uh, you could we could have replaced that with a bigger drive um, I kind of three terabytes should be enough but you know the thing is the amount of video footage that I make uh, man when I think of that aspect I start to wonder, do I really, you know, is three terabytes even enough? I mean, because we're going to have, we're going to have music. We want to have music on here, games, and some movies. Um, and then hell, pictures, right? So, uh, it's a lot of, <laughs> it's a lot, basically. And I, I sit there definitely pondering that maybe I should have went even bigger. All right, so um, this is your RAM over here, folks, underneath here. Uh, I'm not going to screw with mine. 16 gigs, you know, it's, uh, I think it's enough for this laptop. I mean, it's, 
if I want the best gaming and best, you know, this or that, yeah, maybe upgrading might help a little. Uh, going with a faster speed if there's one available that's compatible. Uh, slightly, you know, 16 gigs for most of the gaming I've done. I don't really see a huge increase if I if I go 16 to 32, 32 to 64. Um, and there are applications out there where it's beneficial, but... You know, most of you people bought this for gaming, and, and I think you're going to find that you're, you're, it's good enough. You know, it's going to be good enough. Okay, so there's that. And now we just got to put the screws back in. Um, now, I, I hopefully will remember... So I think we, we might have, hopefully these are all the same size screws. Um, that's always something that drives you nuts on these. Sometimes the screws are different lengths. Looks like they're, they're all the same, right? Uh, so try not to wreck the screws putting them back in. Because next time you go and do this, it's going to be more difficult. And we ended up with four, eight, oh, is it 11? I think we have 11 screws. Uh, as I was saying, though, hopefully I will remember in each video to provide a link to the other video. Um, you may find, well, one of these views is going to end up on my... Uh, my biggest channel. The other one is probably could end up on any of three or four other channels um, to be honest with you. While I prefer to get as much monetization money as I can, I've also got another channel I'm trying to, to build up. Now this was the Acer Nitro 17. Um, yeah, you know, honestly, you quite a few of the Acer Nitros. You're going to follow the same techniques I used. Um, you know, while it was obviously handy to have um, the guitar pick, there's other stuff at your house you'll be able to jab in there. Uh, you know, metal. Go with metal. Not such a good thing, right? Like, yeah, you could probably stick a butter knife in there, but you might also take a chance of damaging something as well. Uh, as soon as we get all the screws in, we'll fire this back up. And I'm, you know, honestly, uh, yeah, I could edit this down, right? But you guys are seeing how, how long this is probably going to take you. Uh... You know, if your hands aren't as big as mine, it's probably easier to hold on to these freaking screws. Yeah, so this laptop, folks, it is freaking big. It's heavy. Uh, I did a YouTube short on, you know, uh, how, you know, how, have you ever wondered how much these 17-inch gaming laptops are, right? And so that... Can't say that made me a whole lot of money, but uh, at least got some views. Um, and interesting enough, if I could go back and do it again, I think I would buy the smaller laptop. Now, the bigger screen's nice. Um, the reality is, a lot of times I bring a freaking monitor with me. So. I probably still would bring a monitor because it's 24, 25, 27 inch screen. It's a lot better than, uh, than this. Okay, so fire this up. And I should have probably did this on a towel or something. Uh, Alright. So we'll pause the screen so you guys can see that in a second. And I turn the light off. So eventually this will fire up. All 
All right, I'll turn this so you guys can't can't see my password. Um, okay, so the moment of truth, and then I'll switch over to the other one. What am I doing, folks? I'm looking for uh, this PC. So it says locked disk. Great. <laughs> um, what are we going to do, folks? We are going to try and format that because it was a operating system and a gateway laptop that uh, we had upgraded. So we'll just do that, and then that should get rid of all of that. Now I lost. I there's some shit on there I lost, but so be it. Okay, so now we have we have two terabyte drive on top of the one, um, and now I can you know didn't I just format it? Maybe I canceled it. Um, okay, let's try this again. Formatting. Format complete. Okay. So now we can close. I guess I goofed that up. All right, so we would go in here, I think, um, and create some folders for music and videos and all that good stuff. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.